I always drew and, and played around with art as a kid. It wasn't until um, high school I met my mentor and really got somewhat serious about it. He was a uh, well-known uh, watercolorist at the time. I was an architectural illustrator for a number of years. It was a lot of studio work. It was very focused, very tight. But as I grew as an artist, my philosophies changed, my style changed. I just started grabbing my kit and, and going out to the park and painting on location or plein air. What it does for me when I'm in the studio is it, it helps me with the editing process and loosening up. I see a shape and I immediately try to figure out a way to simplify it and then connect it. If you're on location and, and paint plain air, you'd be surprised how fast a palette can dry out. The idea of having honey in the, in the uh, recipe is, is really unique. The honey constantly uh, is pulling in moisture and so it keeps the paint really pliable and ready to go. The M. Graham line, I find that the color intensity is much better than other products I've used before. The cadmium red, the cadmium red light, uh, the Indian yellow, the cobalt teal, or the uh, maroon. The honey acts as a better fixing agent so that it gets the color into the paper faster, fixes it, and then is closer to your wet brush stroke. There's nothing more frustrating than getting a beautiful wet brush stroke on the paper and then having it dry and fade to something that you don't recognize. One thing you learn over 20 plus years of painting is what to use and what not to use. I, I buy quality sable brushes. I buy the paper I use because I know how it's going to react in certain circumstances. And probably most importantly, the color. Whether I'm uh, in Hawaii, here in Seattle or somewhere in Europe, I know that I'm not going to have to worry about what's on my palette. My name is Ron Stoke and I am a watercolorist.